13 Days of Preparation for the Consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary Day 12 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Litany of the Immaculate Heart Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Favorite Daughter of God the Father. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Mother of God the Son. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Spouse of the Holy Ghost. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Redeemed, in a sublime manner by the merits of thy Son. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Mother and Model of the Church. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, excellent exemplar in faith and charity. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, who conceived the word of God in thy heart before thou didst in thy womb. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, who gave precious blood to the Son of God in his human nature. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Conceived free of original sin. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, who embraced God's saving will with a full heart, impeded by no sin. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, whose sweet soul a sword pierced beneath the cross. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, given to us as mother by Jesus, as he hung dying on the cross. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, who accepted us as sons as those stood beneath the cross. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, all pure and holy. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, exalted by divine grace above all angels and men. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Mediatrix of Grace. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, burning with love for all thy children upon earth, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Show to our Heavenly Father the wound in the heart of thy Son, and at the same time offer again the sword that pierced thy sorrowful and immaculate heart, as thou suffered by compassion with thy divine Son, for the redemption of the world. By thy intercession, through the merits of Jesus Christ, bring us to salvation. Amen. Grant me that I may praise you, most blessed Virgin. Grant that I may praise you with all my strength. Grant that I may live and work and suffer for you, for you alone, that I may be consumed and die for you. Grant that I may contribute to your greater and more extensive glorification. Grant that I may pay you such homage as no one has yet paid you. Grant that others may surpass me in their zeal for your glorification, and that I may then, as though in a noble competition, propagate devotion to you ever more deeply and swiftly and magnificently, as desired by him who exalted you so effably above all other creatures. Amen. 
Prayer for Generosity by St. Ignatius of Loyola Eternal Word, Only Begotten Son of God, Teach me true generosity. Teach me to serve you as you deserve, to give without counting the cost, to fight heedless of wounds, to labor without seeking rest, to sacrifice myself without thought of any reward. Save the knowledge that I have done your will. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee, and for all those who do not have recourse to thee, especially for the Freemasons, and for those who are commended to thy care. Jesus, Mary, I love you. Save souls. Immaculate Heart of Mary, be my salvation. St. Maximilian Kolbe, pray for us. Day 12. Wherever you enter, you obtain the grace of conversion and growth in holiness, because it is through your hands that all graces come to us from the most sacred heart of Jesus. The Immaculata is suppliant omnipotence. Each conversion and each sanctification is a work of grace, and she is the mediatrix of all graces. So she alone is enough to beseech and to distribute all the graces, whatever grace. During the manifestation of the miraculous medal, St. Catherine Lavery saw the rays that shone forth from the precious rings that the Immaculata wore on her fingers. Such rays symbolize the graces that the Immaculata generously bestows upon all those who want them. Even Ratisbon and the vision he had speaks of the rays of graces. Explanation All prayers, sacrifices, and actions of the night consist in guiding souls to the Immaculata and of bringing the Immaculata to souls so that she may enter into their lives. Once the Mediatrix of all graces has entered, she will transform the robber's cave into a sanctuary. Then a cold, empty, and dark grave will turn into a shining home full of love and joy. However small the part we play in the salvation of souls may seem, we should be firmly convinced that nothing we do is ever unimportant and insignificant in her eyes. Even our little trifles, a pathetic ejaculation, the distribution of a miraculous medal, actually have a great significance to prepare the way for her to enter into souls. How, when, where, through whom? That is her business, not ours. If, however, we are not convinced of the effectiveness, often verging on the miraculous, of our miserable apostolate, then we will lack motivation, sooner or later, to be her willing instruments always and everywhere. St. Maximilian Kolbe, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.